Super excited about this spike. Let's get into it. Welcome back to VS Athletics. In today's video, we're going to go over the Nike Zoom Jawfly 4. This is a complete redesign of the Jawfly from head to toe, no pun intended. So that means redesign of the spike plate, the upper, and all the materials that go into it. So at a quick glance, you'll see that the spike plate does look familiar, but is now a hexagon shape. So hexagon instead of the previous model, which had that kind of spider web spike plate. They have also removed one pin, so we now have a seven pin plate in regards. The last one was an eight pin plate, so they basically removed one of these pins and slightly moved it over. So that may explain the reduction in weight. This now comes in at 4.8 ounces. The Superfly Elite comes in at 5.2, and the previous Jawfly, the Jawfly three came in at 5.2 ounces as well. This comes in at 4.8 ounces for a men's size nine. So you're looking at a 7% reduction, seven to 8% reduction in weight. Um, Nike says it's a significant reduction. Um, I don't know about that, 7%. You decide if it's significant or not, but the reduction in weight may translate to faster times. So you have a basically engineered synthetic woven upper that gives it its lightweight and secure fitting good heel counter to provide stability in the heel and overall lightweight breathability i mean i don't know how long your sprinters are in your sprint spikes but the new engineered mesh upper and woven kind of breathable type fabric you can kind of see my thumb through the material that's how thin it is so Breathable, but sprinters probably aren't in your spikes that long. So breathability may not be your selling point, but the new spike plate is probably the biggest update. You can see there's also kind of rods that go in this direction to give it that more stiffness. First glance, it is kind of similar to the other spikes using that same technology. I mean, my first thoughts was it's a little more flexible than the previous version. So it might be a great 400 meter shoe, uh, two, four, and you may want to go with the stiffer plates for the 100. So Jawfly may be the option for the 400s and all you sprint kind of distance runners running the 800 meters. You may think this might be an option for you as well. The Zoom 400 was a great 400 800 meter shoe this might be a great 400 800 meter shoe as well so all in all they did a great update to this you can also notice that they changed the lacing the lacing on the previous model had that side version coming down to the side basically relieving pressure off the top of the foot some kids found it hard to get their foot in this just you had to unlace it all the way down to make sure you got your foot in there um, this model it's still a little offset but not as much offset as the previous model you can see there's more distance from the bottom of the shoe to the first eyelet where in the previous model it was super super close so they adjusted it made it a little bit more like traditional shoes with lacing going down the middle but it's still offset a little bit hopefully this will help in the fit of the shoe for athletes who are looking to get a great sprint spike at a economical price so you have your basically um, max flies at 180 then you have the superfly elites at 150 and then this falls in at currently $110 at vsathletics.com. That's a great price point for a high-end sprint spike, especially with this new spike plate. So great price getting a high-end sprint spike for roughly 100 bucks. So it'll be $110 at vsathletics.com. If you have any questions about this shoe or any other of the shoes you see in any of these videos, give us a call or leave a comment in the comment section. We'll get to it as soon as possible. 
You can call us at 800-676-7463 and ask customer service to check on sizing availability and have any questions about this shoe or any other shoes. And you can always try on all these shoes at VS Athletics. We are located at 1450 West 228th Street. That's Torrance, California, 90501. And in about two weeks, we will be at the Redondo Nike Track Festival. That will be on March 10th and 11th at Redondo Union High School. That's right there in Redondo Beach. And we'll have these and many other uh, track and field shoes out there to purchase and try on, along with apparel and equipment. So check us out at the Redondo Union uh, Nike Track Invitational. And once again, thank you very much. Have a nice day.